All right, guys, we're here today with lovely Anna. We're going to be using some beautiful black and white SX70 film today. So, Anna, without further ado, if you can open up the box for oh, me. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then uh, we're going to rip it open and you're going to pop it in the, the camera for me. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So all you need to do is pop it into the cartridge here, push it right through. There we go. And then it should theoretically work. Shut this up like so. There we go. Yeah, first one is best. And then if you just take that out for me, what does it say? Uh, make a splash, use a flash. Make a splash, use a flash. How convenient <laughs> and appropriate is that? Perfect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and shoot with this guy. Right after we set everything up in the studio, I decided to look out the window very quickly. It was just some gorgeous, gorgeous afternoon light, and I decided, right, that's it. We need to ditch this, go out and use this light while we had the opportunity to do so. We went right out of the gate, straight downstairs, and then started shooting outside. So here are my top tips on how to shoot late afternoon with direct sunlight and what you can do to make sure that every time you shoot in these conditions, you get a great shot every single time. When you're out in the sunshine, don't shoot directly with the sun coming onto your subject. So what you wanna do is make sure that you are away from that direct harsh light, particularly with the Polaroid SX70. Get yourself in a position where you are moving away from it and you have a little bit more softer light coming onto your subject. Find a place where there isn't direct harsh sunlight coming through. You've got surrounding walls that you can use. Basically what happens is it softens the light so you get a little bit more spread of light around your subject. And when you're shooting with the Polaroid SX70, that comes in really handy, what I've noticed. Get yourself in a position where you are actually surrounded by something else that's you know, t dampening down the harshness of the rays that are around you. You'll be able to not only focus better in those conditions, you'll also be able to get sharper images and well-lit images, and they come out really, really well, as you can see here. If you are going to shoot with the direct sunlight coming onto the subject because you feel like that's going to create that drama and element that you're looking for, then just be careful about where those shadows are falling in the frame that you're taking. So you don't want to have the shadow kind of falling and then you as a photographer have your shadow elongated, particularly in the northern hemisphere where we live, you, the, the shadows just go nuts. So just be mindful of where you're standing and that your shadow is not in frame. Otherwise, you might create that element as well, which probably you don't want to have in your, in your picture. However, I think it's pretty cool playing with long shadows. Some people don't like it. I think they look pretty cool. If you get them just right with just the subject that you've got in front of you, then you can actually create quite a dramatic sort of look. Again, down to your own personal preference. Just be aware that with that strong light coming onto the subject, you're going to have those accentuated shadows as well. Get really close to your subject. Really, really important with the Polaroid SX70 in particular. Polaroid loves, 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 loves getting close to your subject. So get as close as possible to them and you'll be able to frame them better. The quality of the image will come out so, so much better. So do get as close as possible to your subject and then take that shot. If you're taking from further away, you're going to lose some definition. It might be a little bit more difficult for the, the Polaroid to capture what you're trying to capture. You might get a little bit of imbalance in the image. It might come out slightly blurry depending on your manual dexterity. So be aware of that. Just get as close as possible to your subject. Keep moving, 
Move your feet, get into new positions, new angles every time you're taking a different shot. You've only got eight shots on the Polaroid S670, you've got to use them wisely. Don't just stand there, unless of course that's what you have in mind to do. Don't just stand there each time with the camera just like this, shoot with the subject directly in front of you every single time. Get creative with your positioning, move your feet to get that shot that you're looking for. Try something different, try a different angle. Every time you do that, you'll find something new. Who knows, you might create some magic in that process, something that you weren't expecting, and that might come about, or be the most memorable shot from the shoot that you've been doing. Get creative with it, play with your positioning. Move your feet as often as possible, get creative. I absolutely love, love, love this camera. It's such a fun camera to shoot with. Strongly recommend if you don't have your own one, I highly recommend you getting one. It's got so much history behind it. I love it. I just love its design, the way it operates, the feel of it. I've, I've got so much joy out of shooting with this camera. So highly recommend you guys shooting with it. I hope that you found some of the tips in this video useful for you so that when you do go out and shoot if you've already got your own Polaroid SX70 or any other Polaroid that those tips are going to be useful for you to go out and shoot. I've got a series of videos that I've already posted on this so make sure that you go back and check out the other ones that I have posted on this because every single shoot that I've done with it you'll be able to pick up something new and they will save you the time and money from making the mistakes that I've made along the way. I'd love to see your pictures as well. So if you are shooting, you've got somewhere where I can see some of your images, I would love to, to see them. Do go ahead and tell me which of your photos were the favorite out of this set that I took on this SX70 in black and white. Check out the other videos and I will catch you on another one very, very soon.